Hi everyone and welcome to our first tutorial on digital logic. Digital logic is very important when it comes to understanding how computer systems work. As you know computer systems are all based on working with bits and bytes and once we go down to the bit level we need to understand how things work when we are trying to store bits and manipulate bits and and work with them so that's what digital logic is all about to help us understand how digital logic works we will be using a web-based tool called circuitverse circuitverse is a free program that you can sign up for teachers can create their own account if they want to have students create files and different projects in circuitverse it's a drop and drag system that's very easy to use. I've put a few different logic gates up here. We've got an AND gate, we've got an OR gate, we've got an inverter, and it's really easy to use Circuitverse and to wire up different digital circuits. We can simply connect inputs and outputs together by using the draw tool to simply draw in the connectors for the inputs and we can do the same thing for the outputs. If I want to simply create a node, I just need to let go of my mouse and then I can draw up and draw across. So I can create multiple nodes, nodes if I wish when I'm creating digital logic circuits. In order to turn them on, it's very easy to see which logic circuits are highs versus the ones that are low you can see that this one is energized this is a logic one where this is a logic zero we can simply turn it off and on by clicking it so your first task is to get signed up to circuitverse and just getting used to their interface we've got some inputs here that we can use we've got outputs here we've got various gates and so on that we will be looking at in future tutorials that's it for this video. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.